Well, it's um, really a project initiated by the School of Architecture, Jesus Vasalo. They came up with this project, kind of a demonstration project, to build it out of mass timber, something uh, more sustainable. But they wanted a place to put it, and they came to me and, and kind of came up with this idea that it, if we could situate around nature, observation deck here, looking out to all of Harris Gully, We've been trying to preserve this place, and I think um, a nice structure like this will really make it uh, a real destination for people. It's my pleasure to welcome all of you here to the Harris Gully Natural Area on this beautiful day. We're here to dedicate the Johnson Owl Deck, made possible in large part due to the generosity of Judy G. and Michael L. Johnson, for whom the pavilion is named. It was definitely a journey. I think it's been almost three years since we started working on this project with students in the classroom, all the way to the sort of finished uh, building and this opening ceremony. It's been a wild ride, really a very experimental project. So we went all the way from uh, conceptual thinking and creative thinking with the students to troubleshooting with industry people, engineers, and uh, worked out quite well, I think. I'm most proud that this is a result of a collaboration between students and faculty, that both Associate Professor Jesus Fasalo worked on introducing the topic of cross-laminated timber to our school, but that also he engaged the students in the design, production, and construction of this piece. And I believe that the issues today in the world are so complex in terms of sustainability, climate crisis, urbanization, that we need solutions like this one that bring both beautiful structures and natural environments together. So we have beautiful and sustainable environments like this one, both on the campus, but also in the world more broadly. One of the big players in this is Mike and Judy Johnson who are alums of the Earth Science Department here at Rice. They've always been interested in putting money into helping students uh, have different types of experiences, especially the non-traditional, going out to the field. When I brought this up to them, they got really excited and thought, well, this is great. Dedicate this place to, to the students for the future. It's nice. So Professor Sinti was explaining that it's kind of commemorating the fact that we have this really natural, untouched land. We're two miles away from downtown Houston. You look, you look around, there's, there's skyscrapers as far as the eye can see, but this, there's just this, like kind of preserved land. And the fact that we're putting this here and preventing any more development in the area is just kind of reaffirming Rice's commitment to having this space here for everybody to enjoy.